Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have a lip swatch video for you. I'm already exhausting myself. One quick thing because I just think you guys will enjoy it. I'm wearing a very comfy sweatshirt, but it's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> I found this at Forever 21 like last, like right before last Christmas in the men's section and I was like, oh my God, I should totally get this as a gift. And I was like, mm, no, it's for me. Anyway, I love the sweatshirt and I kind of got lost in the move and I found it again. So comfy and we're ready to swatch. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. If you're new here, my name's Amy. I love makeup, I love skincare, anything beauty related and that was what you can expect from my channel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Today we're swatching the Milani Color Fetish Shine Lipsticks. First of all, packaging is super, super cute. So these go for $8.99 on their website and there are 12 shades in total. My lips are gonna take a little bit of a beating, but thank goodness they are a shinier formula, which honestly, as you can tell, is pretty much what I swatch because mattes are not too bad in a regular lipstick, but a liquid matte, you can just count me out. I'm not doing a lip swatch. My lips will be tore up unless it's something like really intriguing and there's not too many shades, you know? I'm really excited. I also want to say thank you. Milani hooked me up with these after I mentioned them in a video. I did a full face of Milani. I'll go ahead and stick that right up here if you haven't seen it. So many good finds in that video and I feel like Milani is like a drugstore gem. If you haven't tried Milani products, I'm like you're sleeping under a rock and you need to go to Walgreens, CVS, somewhere you need to pick it up. Okay, <laughs> so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna try to go, you know, pretty much light to dark. Sometimes colors can be deceiving, so we're just gonna roll with it and see. And before I actually apply this, let's look at what they say they're gonna do. It says, are you longing for a lust worthy lip? I mean, yeah. This sheer to medium coverage, ultra moisturizing, balm like lipstick. It says it has 85% blend of nourishing oil. It has an 85% blend of nourishing oils to glide on effortlessly, leaving lips moisturized with a lustrous pop of color. It says it's a creamy, lustrous shine, high comfort formula that wears like a lipstick but melts into your lips like your favorite balm. It says nothing with fur, fin, or feathers was hurt to make this beauty essential. It's 100% vegan. That's a huge win. I love to see cruelty-free and vegan in drugstore products, and I feel like the time has come. We need to just no more animal testing, no more animal products, like it's not necessary, clearly. So I love that. It says to apply it beginning at your cupid's bow and extend out to the edge of your lips. Gently rub lips together for smooth, even application. My lips are a little bit chapped. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm drinking more water, I'm putting on more balm, but dry lips happen. I'm going to start with this shade, which looks like a soft, rosy pink. So this is the shade Lingerie, ooh la la. So a close up of the packaging real quick and the color. Packaging has like this little studded feel to it and it looks so pretty. I think these are like a great packaging because they have texture and they're unique, but they're not super big and bulky, which I find sometimes the lipsticks that I love the packaging, they're like super bulky and I'm like, okay, I don't know, this kind of annoys me, but this is still very slim. It's just got a little, little texture on it, I like it. So let's put on Lingerie. Oh, when they said bomb like, I was thinking like, okay, maybe it's not gonna be like super pigmented, but she's colorful. Hello. Ooh, what does this smell? <laughs> do you guys do that too? When you put something on your lips and you wanna smell it, you're like, and then pray that it's not on the bottom of your nose. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about like precision application around the, I just elbowed a palette. I'm not gonna try to be super precise around the edge of my lips because we're gonna take off and put on so many. So I just wanna look at this color. Oh, again, this is lingerie and it says sheer to medium. You could definitely go a little bit lighter. I feel like this is definitely medium coverage in terms of the opacity of it. It covers my lip color well. I feel like this is definitely can still be a statement lip if you want it to be, but they do feel really, really moisturizing. It feels very comfortable. It feels very lightweight on my lips. It does not feel heavy or oily or sticky or anything like that. It just feels smooth and light and balmy. Very light balm though. You don't feel like you're wearing like chapstick or anything heavy and synthetic. It doesn't feel like that at all. So that is lingerie. 
I don't think I've ever said this, but my lips actually feel much more comfortable when taking this off than they were before wearing it. And just that few seconds, it kind of moisturized my lips. So it feels super nice. Let's go for this one. The next shade I'm gonna do is called Lustful. And this, I don't know if it's gonna be more nude or more terracotta. It could really go several ways, but the packaging, again, so cute. Let's go ahead and put on Lustful. That smell at first is just so nice. Oh, so pretty. Oh my goodness, you can see all the little scrapes in the lipstick from my crusty lips. That's sad, oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the shade Lustful. And I usually go for something so neutral on my eyes when I do a lip swatch, but I was like, you know what, it's okay. This is still <laughs> semi-neutral, no it's not. But, you know, it's not like bright pink everywhere, so hopefully you guys can still imagine like what this would look like with a more, you know, neutral or brown eyeshadow or no eyeshadow whatsoever. I'm noticing that the scent is not strong at all. It's more like when I first apply it, I'm like, ooh, fruity. And then I don't really smell it too much after the fact, but it is really nice. I think I'm gonna love this formula, period. I wouldn't expect it to be extremely long wear. They don't tout that it is. It is a shinier, balmy formula. So with that, of course, it's not gonna wear like a long wear matte lipstick. I personally love that. I feel like the more long wear it is, the worse it looks on your lips. If it's dry and cracked and all that stuff, I don't personally like that. Right now, wearing a mask, I totally understand. Maybe isn't, you know, the best time to wear a shinier formula, but I love that it is hydrating to my lips. That's what I'm liking. Like, my lips feel really nourished, and maybe... Fingers crossed, in the near future, we will not have to wear masks everywhere that we go, and this will be a great option for them as well. All right, let's go for a pink. This one is Voyeur, and it is a hot looking pink. Maybe this is gonna look super cute with my eye, but this is what it looks like. I mean, I just think like hot Barbie pink with this. I think my camera is making it look a little bit more fuchsia, at least the packaging, whereas I'm seeing like hot pink, not any hint of purple in it. And I think my camera is making it look like it has a hint of purple. So we'll see in editing if it really does look like that, but I just see hot like Barbie pink. Now on my lips, it like the first thing I think is a little hint of fuchsia in it on my lips. Uh, again, like the, that little rush of fruitiness every time is so nice. I'm loving how this is like gliding on the lips. It feels like the easiest application. It's just so smooth and nourishing. So once again, this is Voyeur. A lot of these shades are looking pretty dark compared to what I've used. So a lot of darker, like vampire, berry looking colors, two different reds. So I think next I'm gonna go for this, which I think is going to be a very bright, summery, orangey something or other. And this one is called Crave. Let's take a look. So I'm expecting orangey. Oh, it's more like a corally, maybe coral orange. This is so pretty. So I did do my best to remove that pink that we just used. I kinda wish I had done this one first. So you may see a hint of pink underneath, but I did my best to take it off and then put a little concealer to hopefully keep that color at bay. So this may be slightly more orangey if you were to just put it on bare lips first thing, but I do feel like it is really pretty. This is more coral and I think this is an amazing spring and summer color. And I can definitely see myself wearing this as like a statement lip with just a very neutral eye, maybe no eyeshadow or just bronzer in the crease, something like that, which is definitely something I do more in the summer because it's hot as balls here in Alabama. So, you know, you want something simple that's not going to run down your face. This could be a really nourishing, balmy lipstick for when it's hot out and your lips are experiencing the sun and the heat and get a little bit more chat for that reason. So that is Crave and I love it. Pretty color. All right, I think I'm gonna go for, ooh, let me look at a couple of these and make sure I feel like I'm making the right choice. So okay, I'm looking at these two shades and I'm thinking I'm gonna go for the red. And this is a brighter, more warm red. So this one is Role Play. 
All right, so Roleplay is definitely a red with a little hints of orange, and I absolutely love it. These are my favorite types of red to wear. Once again, a beautiful summer simple statement lip with a more neutral eye. I'm thinking like glowy, bronzy, neutral eye, lots of mascara, and this on the lips would be so pretty. So Roleplay is one of my favorites so far. I love them all. Like, I haven't found a color yet that I don't like, but this is definitely one of my favorites. Let's go for the purple. This one is Kink. That's the perfect name for that one. Um, that one looks quite different. I'm thinking it's just because it is more sheer to medium than, you know, it doesn't come off like this purple purple, but I'm gonna swatch this one on my hand too. It's a little bit purpler than my lips look right now from swatching all of the reds and pinks and things and my lips are naturally pinker anyway so it's going to pull a little bit of that regardless and you know keep in mind like everybody's lips are different so you can never expect you know any lipstick to look exactly the same on you as it does on someone else compared to you know different lip color different skin color things like that so it's a little bit more purple than what you're seeing right here but that is Kink. So if you're wondering, are these pigmented? Yes, they are pigmented. I'm getting some staining on the lip, which is really good in a way. Like if you love the color that you're wearing and the gloss wears off, you'll still have a little bit of color underneath and it doesn't just like go away immediately. So I don't mind that at all. It just makes the lip swatch a little bit different. So, you know, just take that with a grain of salt and I'll try to give you like my best estimation on all of these. The rest of these are pretty dark. I'm gonna avoid this more magenta looking color for just a little bit because I know it's probably gonna be a bit more staining. So I'm gonna go for this one. It looks like a, maybe like a garnet type of color, maybe crimson, but this one is called Nylon. This is beautiful. It's like this soft, subdued, what do I wanna call this? It's not red, it's not, maybe a little bit crimson but it's so soft looking so i am going to swatch it on my hand just so we can compare it's pretty spot on as far as the color there may be a hint of brown in it here that i'm not quite seeing here but it's pretty pretty close i would think i love it it's not your typical red and similar to like a brickish red but i don't know it's unique i like this color a lot all right let's go for our classic red this time and this one is called seduce it looks really pretty This is the red that all the beauty counters used to call blue base red, which basically just means it's a cooler tone of red. And I feel like it's looking pretty spot on. I feel so, my lips actually feel so much better right now. I feel like taking them off, I've like exfoliated my lips a little bit. And this is so moisturizing that my lips feel so much more comfortable. So I've done like a little lip treatment in my try on, but I am loving the shade Seduce. Four shades left and we're getting into the berries in a kind of chocolatey looking brown. So I think it's definitely time to try on this other pink and hope that the other ones are as dark as they seem. So this more magenta looking one is called Covet. Love the names. Ooh yeah, she's magenta. Spot on with like the color of the packaging. It's so pretty. So Covet is definitely more magenta if you're looking for that. And I feel like once again, a more year round type of color, but also super pretty in the summertime. Again, like that staple lip with a soft eye. And I think that would be so pretty. I am, I'm loving this one too, damn it. And this is actually one of my favorites. I'm not always blown away by these types of colors. There's just something about it that's not my go-to i'm usually like nude pinkish and more of like that orangey red is my like wheelhouse of favorites but i really love this i think it's super complimentary and if you take away the eye look too you know on its own and just cover my eyes up on the screen and you can see it i love it all right let's go for this brown looking shade called tied up Ooh. And any of these that have like any kind of pink-ish kind of tone to it, they will leave some color on your lips. So be rest assured of that so you will not be left looking lipless if your balmy, you know, balmy layer wears off. All right, let's try it on Tied Up. 
I feel like this one definitely needs a swatch because it is browner on my hand. It's not super far off. It still has like that little hint of like plum or something in there, but you can see the pink peeking through. So it's a little bit browner than it looks like on me at this very moment. So this is tied up. The next shade looks to be more berry. We actually have two berry-ish looking shades one more purple and one more reddish pinkish berry. So we're gonna see how these line up. And this one is called Fantasy. Beautiful color. This is a soft berry shade, like it's not super dark or super bright. I feel like this one is pretty spot on. So the final shade is called Bitten. And I'm expecting more, you know, sultry, vampy, maybe berry. Let's put it on. And this one's got what it takes to cover up all those other colors. Oh my god. I got lipstick on my forehead. Okay, this makeup's about to come off, so we'll just pretend that I just didn't swipe some excess lipstick on my forehead. So we have a little bit more vampy berry. I still think this is more like a berry-ish type of shade, but definitely has that vampy look. So this is Bitten. To wrap up, I think this is a beautiful formula of lipstick. I would say it's definitely spot on with nourishing, hydrating. My lips feel amazing right now. Way better than they did when we started, which is saying something with all of that taking off. But I'm thrilled with the formula. I feel like $9 is a great price because I feel like you could easily pay way, way more for a lipstick formula that's similar from a lot of high-end brands. And I've tried other like hydrating lipsticks from, you know, higher-end brands that cost more than double the price that aren't as good. So that's what I love about Milani. It's definitely more affordable than a lot of other brands, but still has the quality. Like I said, they're vegan, cruelty-free, which is really a necessity at this point. So I'll link them below in case you want to pick up a color or two. Let me know what your favorite color or couple of colors were from this lip swatch. I hope you guys enjoyed the lip swatch if you see any other lipstick releases that you would like to see me swatch on my channel make sure to drop that in the comments below anytime you see one just hop on my most recent video and comment and let me know that I need to go get them preferably lower end stuff because most of what I do here on my channel I'm still paying for so you know it can get really pricey buying lips to lip swatch so you know maybe more affordable ones <laughs> I saw these the Catrice powerful five liquid lip balm and these looked really cool they're pretty affordable so i was thinking about swatching those for you if you would like to see me swatch them leave me a thumbs up leave me some comments and i will know if i need to order them or not and i hope you guys enjoyed again i think i said that so thank you so much and i will see you in my next video bye guys